Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to check the attendance first. This is section B, a zero. A zero. Bagaris. Presenter. Banal. Present, sir. Baroro. Present, sir. Berdigel. Present, sir. Kabiladas. Present, sir. Tagaanan. Corales. Present, sir. Quahau. Present, sir. De La Pina. Present, sir. Diamla. Present, sir. Divina Gracia. Present, sir. Enolpi. Present, sir. Gomez. Present, sir. Gomob. Gongob, gongob, gongob. Gores. Present, sir. Ortilano. Present, sir. Ignacio. Present, sir. Adman. Present, sir. Umawan. Present, sir. Magan. Present, sir. Magpayo. Present, sir. Malinaw. Present, sir. Manda. Present, sir. Medina. Present, sir. Jose. Present, sir. Jose. Pastoriza. Ramonal. Present, sir. Renewa. Present, sir. Resma. Resma. Reyes. Present, sir. Sabal. Sarsina. Present, sir. Saison. Present, sir. Villamore. Present, sir. Yunson. Present, sir. Nana Siasero. Kagaanan. Kagaanan is taking a special quiz. Alang, anong karoon man siya nag-take special quiz? Kina siya klase. Karoon man siya makadungan good sa other block, sir. Nga kanang napoy, kanang quiz, karoon kang ma'am chali po. Pero kina man siya klase good sa ato. So, pasto pinili siya. Okay, so Risma, nana si Risma? Sabal. Ba? 
Okay, before we start, a reminder, those, uh, if you know someone, okay, uh, nag-stop, okay, nag-withdraw, okay, they have to make it, uh, or fill up a form, okay, para mas, uh, nga, maka-fill up sila withdrawal form so that uh, dili ma full payment, no? If they're planning to stop or discontinue, <clears throat> you have to inform the department and ask for a withdrawal form. Okay, tendency, pag wala withdrawal form, wala naka-sign, wala naka-fill up, at the end of the semester, you have to pay full. Okay? But for those, mag-stop by after midterm. Okay? It will discontinue after midterm. You will be marked failure due to absences and still you have to pay full. Okay? Because several cases, wala mag fill up at the end, matingala nga nung dako ang bayron nun, nga nung mubayad. Okay? To make it legal, your withdrawal, you have to fill up withdrawal form. Okay, dili mo makakuha po sa inyo yung mga credentials if ever nag-stop mo. Or one incidence also, nag-enroll and later on wala ni sulod kay ni transfer blind school. Then, in the next semester, ni Balik, diri, nagpa-enroll. And it was found out that student enrolled in first, first semester and then wala magsulod, wala nagpilap o withdrawal. So, tendency, pag enroll niya, naan na siya balance direct. Okay? Just a reminder. Now, for those who have INC in any subject, please settle or comply that INC before February 15. You will be given time, the instructor will inform you, whatever, or you can contact your instructor, whatever your uh, deficiencies on that subject. Please comply so that you will be marked, uh, you will be given uh, grades, no? kung makomply ni mo. However, if you cannot comply until February 15, you will be marked filled. Meaning, cinco in your TOR. Okay? So, every time na mo'y INC, kindly follow up right away your instructor. Whatever in yung lacking. Okay? Okay, let's continue. So, next week will be... Uh, um prelim exam no online so i'm going to upload my slides now i'm thinking that digit uh, mahuman maybe we could move our schedule no i'll just announce and then we will use that uh schedule we will post schedule okay usually thursday we start at on uh, major exam and then there are some major subject can be given during prelim i don't know uh, monday during monday schedule or tuesday or wednesday para dili magtapok tanan yung subject sa thursday friday dili magdungan so at least divide na to but our real schedule will start thursday so again there will be subject major subject the exams will be given Monday, Thursday, or Wednesday. No? Para dili mag bugat kayo magduan tulo ka subject sa Thursday or upat ka subject sa Friday. Okay? Now, I'm thinking na favorite din ako mahuman, maybe we will use next week the schedule for our second quiz. No? During that time, sa schedule na to, we will use that time for our second quiz. Then we will have our prelim. Kaya medyo taas-taas pa ni siya eh. Okay, kaya natunggan ng tungkol klase. So, 
Mag-announce lang ko, no? Sa Google Classroom. So, let's continue. How we start the discussion about psoriasis? Anyone who took a picture of our slide? Ah? Huh? Okay. Ah, uh, I start and discuss the yeah. app. Or, magsugod pa? Magsugod pa, sir. Ah, okay. Sige, sige. Thank you for that. So another conditions that involve your skin, okay? Okay, infections. So take note again, your skin is the largest organ in your body and we have some uh, organisms in our uh, skin and na pa sa outside, wala pa siya ka invade inside, so wala uh, infections may occur, but later on, pag makasulod siya, no, that's the time infections may occur. It depends on what pathogens involved sa imuhang infections because to identify uh, specific pathogens, uh, it is really needed to determine what specific medications. Okay, we will mention that later on. So this is again a chronic disease result in patches of thick red skin covered with silvery scales that you can see in the picture. Okay. That may result to hyperkeratinization okay. then uh, hyperactivity of the T cells, then on production of terdeukins, then on uh, with this characteristic picture of this uh, psoriasis, no? a nice scaly. So this is referred to as plaque, which usually occur in the elbow, knees, legs, cup, or back, face, palm, and sole of the feet and nails. So history of the psoriasis. Okay? The word psoriasis derived from the Greek word itching, katul, no? pruritus, itchiness. So, use the term psoriasis, bulgaris, to refer all dermo and epidermatis accompanied by pruritus or HNS. So, every um, area, same as skin, okay, whatever as an apart, that is also um, tendency may result some uh, condition or development of this psoriasis. So, we mentioned the site, no, as a mga location that may have psoriasis. So it is a persistent skin disease cause cells to build rapidly on the surface of the skin forming thick silvery scales and also associated with itchiness, dry and red patches. So again this is the anatomy of your skin. Okay, so it appears first during two peak. So, so hyperactivity of the T cells may result to epidermis infiltration and keratinocyte proliferation. And then it may cause deregulated inflammatory process. So as I mentioned, one, of the pathophysiology is the production of large cytokines. We have interferon and interleukin. With this production of cytokines, there will be superficial blood vessel dilated and vascular engorgement. So, since there is uh, blood vessel dilatation, vascular engorgement, there will be epidermal hyperplasia and may cause improper cell maturation so with 
improper cell maturation, it fails to release adequate lipids, which lead to flaking, scaling, a presentation of psoriasis lesion. As a result, there will be silver scaling of the skin. So this is the pathophysiology of psoriasis. Now, there are several types of psoriasis, which may include plaque psoriasis, gutate psoriasis. Sorry, yung gutate, pero mahalaan niya siya, murag ka ng measles, no? Yeah, sa mga younger ones. Then inverse psoriasis, postular psoriasis, erythrodermic psoriasis, nail psoriasis, and psoriatic arthritis. This psoriatic arthritis sometimes must be... Uh, include to diagnose, okay, to examine is if the patient have this other uh, psoriasis. Okay? Sometimes na kay uh, other psoriasis, but sometimes madungan na kay psoriatic arthritis. So to rule out a laboratory test, to rule out psoriatic arthritis because they're present, so management, uh, another uh, application of management will be uh, needed. So this is the picture of black psoriasis, a common type of psoriasis. This is also known as psoriasis vulgaris. So characteristic picture, it is a raised, inflamed, red skin covered by silvery patches or scales. The solid site involved, elbows, knees, sacrum, scalp, toilet back, hands, and feet. Now, gutate psoriasis characterized by eruption papules over the trunk and proximal extremities. Okay? So, or siya, tanawan ni mo sa layo, no? or siya ka ng naimesis, ang bata naimesis. But a close examination, uh, you could uh, say uh, it's different from measles. It's a gutate psoriasis. So, usually it manifests at early age. Okay? So, mga young ones. And also, streptococcal throat infections frequently precedes or is concomitant with the onset or flare of psoriasis, agotate psoriasis. Now, inverse psoriasis is usually common sa mga obese, no? Okay, localized, but there is no uh, scaling kind. Uh, inverse psoriasis compared with plaque, no? Localized in major skin folds such as axilla, oh, mga sintanon nga area, the inguinal, and inflammatory areas and swelling, uh, sweating areas. Uh, so scaling usually minimal or absent in inverse psoriasis. And the lesions, characteristic picture of the lesions, glossy, smooth, and bright red as you can see in the picture. If you compare with the uh, plaque scaling, no, but in inverse, usually glossy, smooth, and bright red. And this is commonly seen in obese client or patient. Postular. Uh, it is usually uncommon, but mostly appear in adult. It appears as past field vision surrounded by dead skin. So in the presence of past, Maybe this is uh, an immediate medical attention is needed. No? Appears mostly at hands and feet. It is a serious condition, so immediate medical attention is required. Erythrodermic psoriasis. So this type of psoriasis, it affects all areas or body sites. And most pr uh, prominent feature with superficial scaling, peeling that may appear like burning. Example, the acosis, like sunburn, allergic reactions, strong cold product use. That may result to erythrodermic psoriasis. Now, this is one condition that involve your nail. We call it nail psoriasis. And sometimes this nail psoriasis, as I mentioned, that may be as along, uh, commonly seen along with psoriatic arthritis. Characteristic features of nail psoriasis, 
a pitting small bit nail, yellow brown nail, tinder and pinpoint nail with choke like debris build up under nails. If you can see in the picture, na magputi puti no, sa ilaw sa kuko. So this is one character pictures of nail psoriasis. At the same time, maybe this is associated also with psoriatic arthritis. So uh, steroid injected into the nail or light therapy is uh, the management. So we mentioned that sometimes psoriatic arthritis may be associated with other conditions like nail psoriasis. So if you have a patient with other types of psoriasis, this he must be also undergo laboratory tests to rule out psoriatic arthritis. So this is a common conditions, conditions which involve both psoriasis and joint inflammation. So just like some mga arthritis, okay, gout, gout arthritis. So sometimes it involves some mga joint, no? So inflame, yes. no medication that can cause uh, deformity. So the blue arrow, if you can see, that is normal joint space. And then red arrow, para nagtapot na sila, no? Para na space. Okay? Cup and saucer effect of fourth metatarsal bone being jumped into the base of the fourth tooth. Para nikabir na siya. Cup and saucer. Then yellow circle, a pencil appearance, that is a characteristic feature of the deformity or destructions characteristic of the disease. So most distinctive features of psoriatic arthritis are distal interphalangeal joint arthritis, hemunghan, and dactylitis. There is an inflammation of your ductal part. Clinical manifestation. Okay, so actually the first sign of psoriasis of in a red spot on the body. Then that patches will dry. So the skin dry, swollen and inflamed. And later on, covered with silver white flakes, raised and thick skin. But with this manifestation, it is also associated with pain, itching, and burning sensation. <clears throat> also associated with restricted joint motion or pain. Agnai inflammation, so di kini mo na siya mamove, no? sakit man. Crack and bleeding skin, then drop and scalp, pass filled blisters, genital lesion in males, eating small depression on the surface of the nail, and also yellow discolored nail. The term is called Kobner phenomenon arthritis. Eating small depression on the surface of the nail, yellow discolored nail, Kobner phenomenon arthritis. So investigation, of course, you have to collect the history. Once I start, sa imong manifestation or sa symptoms, no? nagpula-pula man to siya, Dok, then later on, may nani na dayon. Okay? Kanon sa nagsugod? So that is history of the present illness. <clears throat> so every time, uh, I don't know kung nag-experience na mo pa-check up, no? Usually, ang mutana gina ng doktor diritso, okay? or sa ER, mga nurse, no? Para i-relay po nila sa doktor. Ang sige ba ate? Ay, nani. Ano sa mga nang nagsugod? Okay. Nakit ang balik ko ang nakilain sakit. Ano din? That is history. Because without the history, we don't know also what happened to the patient. And we cannot uh, come up with a good diagnosis and a good management. Ano sa hainga? Ano nga magkamangingo na ada kay nani? Kay wala man po kipangutan na. Okay? So, history is a good uh, way to have, to obtain a good diagnosis. 
<coughs> Para sa mga medical chart, naagin ay mga history. Kinsa yung nag-admit, mubuhat yung nag-history. So that, that history of the patient, uh, gamiton po na sa mga consultant, if ever may consultant na patient. Hindi ginamawa ang history. Ngayon, physical examination. After uh, being interviewed, then the doctor will perform physical examination. <coughs> so, with physical examination history, and then other laboratory needed, if ever na, ah, no, uh, to support your diagnosis, your first impression. So, sometimes we do skin biopsy, okay, under local anesthesia, then blood and radiography, usually ang um, uh, x-ray, since one of the psoriasis type is the atong one, uh, deformity, no? Imungbun. So, to rule out psoriatic arthritis, that may result to deformity, Okay, makita mo sa X-ray. So, X-ray is needed to rule out psoriatic arthritis. Also, blood test. So, medical management. What is the aim on giving management in patient with psoriasis? Okay. So, giving medication, this is to interrupt the cycle that causes an increased production of skin cells, thereby reducing inflammation and plaque formation. So, sa'yo pa lang, <clears throat> at least, o pa-check up na, to prevent further increased production of skin cells that may result to inflammation. Then, remove scales and smooth skin, which is partly removed by topical treatment. We will mention about topical management of psoriasis. So, so the management or treatment. It involves topical treatment, light therapy, systemic medication. So the first line therapy is the corticosteroids. Needed for mild to moderate psoriasis and insights as flexure and genitalia because other topical treatment can induce irritation and skin pull. So with corticosteroid, they slow the cells turnover by suppressing immune system, which reduce inflammation and relieves associated itching. This is the effect of corticosteroids. So there are also strong corticosteroids used for smaller area of skin because long-term use may cause thinning of skin and resistance. And low potency steroids usually recommended for sensitive area and treating widespread patches damaged skin. So we have a triamcinolone acetonide acute solution, 10 mg per ml diluted with normal saline is injected into the lesion. Vitamin D analogs used to treat psoriasis. A potent topical cluster is superior to calcipotrin, but calcipotrin was more effective than coltar or antralin because coltar also is being used to treat uh, psoriasis. So efficacy of calcipotrin is not reduced in long-term treatment. Apply twice daily. But with the presence of salicylic acid, this inactivates calcipotrin. A major problem with the use of this, uh, it may develop hypercalcemia. Oh, well. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yes, I regarding regarding atong na mention ni mong INC, uh, what if kung activity ang kulang and then wala ginag-comply, i fail or INC? Ah, 
So kung ano na 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 sa sa faculty kung i lower trace ba niya kung mo pasar na na. because of that in sin lang no grade ano uh, no credit ah okay <laughs> okay ako lagi klaro and then okay pa ang enrollment <laughs> mamoko lagi si Dave kuno sa imo nya kay na may sakay diyan tigod sa mag-asa ko ni mabaron <laughs> Ah, mau lagi. Oo. Kenal. Mm, lagi. Kay actually kay 8 days naman siyang absent. <laughs> Sabi tayo pila ka percent lang. Uh, supposed to be from the start of the class. Mm. -mm. So, so ah. mm. Ah. Mm. So, if ma decide ni nga pwede pa, adiretso na siya enroll. Ah. Ah, ah, yes. Ah. Ah, sige. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Sorry for that interruption. I have a call from Mam Baron, our registrar. Other vitamin D analogs, we have a calcitol and maca, maxa calcitol. So, in view of their efficacy, cosmetic acceptability, and relative safety, the may be accepted as first choice therapies in topical treatment of mild to moderate psoriasis. Okay, we mentioned about coal tar. So tar is a dry distillation product of organic matter heated in absence of oxygen. Okay, it is also being used to treat psoriasis. And concentration 5 to 20 percent can be compounded in creams, ointment, shampoos, and in paste. But the disadvantage of this using of coal tar, it may result allergic reactions, folicolitis, and has a foul smell and appearance and can stain clothing and other items. And also, another disadvantage by using coal tar, it is carcinogenic. We have tasoritin, a third generation retinoid. Okay, usually the effect of this is reduces mainly scaling and plaque thickness. So we use as monotherapy a significant proportion of patients develop local irritation. So it must be used along with sun screen lotion. So we mentioned that 
the one of the pathogenesis of the psoriasis is hyperactivity of the cells. Okay? So we have topical calcineurin inhibitor. The action of these uh, drugs, it inhibit activation of these cells, which in turn reduce inflammation and plaque buildup. But they are not effective in plaque psoriasis. But treatment for inverse facial psoriasis and this agent appears to provide effective treatment. Emollients also is being used. Okay. Between treatment periods, skin care with emollients should be performed to avoid dryness. So you are uh, having medication, so psoriasis, but sometimes that medication can cause dryness, so you have to use also emollients. And also phototherapy. Okay. Patient wears a thick cotton shirt, has 10 small vertical holes in its back. This is also one way of taking some uh, treatment for uh, psoriasis or phototherapy. So this is how being done in phototherapy. Also sunlight, ultraviolet light, equivalent of light in range, no short of human eye to see. When exposed to UV light, activated T cells in the skin are being destroyed, which led reduce scaling and inflammation. This is how sunlight used to treat the development of psoriasis. It activated T cells in the skin. In ultraviolet board band phototherapy. But it has side effects, redness, dryness, itching, which can be minimized by using again by moisturizer. Another is photochemotherapy. This involves again a uh, kicking light sensitizing medication. But again, it has side effect, nausea, headache, burning, itching, wrinkled skin or skin cancer. We have eczema laser, okay? a controlled beam of UV. Uh, be light, the specific equivalent directed to the psoriasis plaque. But side effects, redness and displaying. Post dilacer. Use different form of light to destroy tiny blood vessels that contribute to psoriasis plaque. Side effects, bruising and scaring. And also combination of light therapy. Combine UV light with other treatments such as retinoid, which improve uh, phototherapy effectiveness. So these are the devices being used to treat. And also systemic therapy, we have cyclosporin A. The action of the cyclosporin, it binds cyclophilin, producing complex that block calcineurin, thereby reducing the effect of NFAT in the T cells. By reducing the effect, it results in inhibition of interleukin-2. We mentioned in the pathogenesis of psoriasis, okay, hyperactivity of the cells, then also another is a production of interleukin cytokines. No? So cyclosporin uh, is useful by resulting in inhibition of interleukin 2, depending on the dose also. No? Okay. NFAT is a nuclear factor of activated T cells. It's a family of transcription factors shown to be important in immune response. So also, this in fact involved in development of cardiac, special muscle, and nervous system. So side effects, nephrotoxicity, hypertension, immunosuppression, neurotoxicity, increased risk of malignancy. Contraindication, prior bone, marrow uh, depression, pregnancy, lactation, renal abnormality by using cyclosporin. Metotrixid. Metotrixid, the action blocks dihydrofolate reductase leading to inhibition of purine and pyramidine synthesis, which lead to accumulation of anti-inflammatory adenosine. But side effects, chronic use may lead to hepatic fibrosis fetal abnormalities or even death. That is why it contraindicated in pregnancy, pulmonary fibrosis. A contraindication, pregnancy and liver toxicity because it may cause hepatic fibrosis. 
acid retin. This acid retin binds to retinoic acid receptors, contribute to improvement by normalizing keratinization and proliferation. So this is also one of the pathogenesis of the psoriasis. But side effect again, con uh, hepatotoxicity, lipid abnormalities, fetal abnormalities, or death, alopecia. Contraindication, severe infections, malignancy. So complication of psoriasis may involve infections, fluid and electrolyte imbalance, so low self-esteem, depression, stress, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, and joint uh, damage. So it needs health education for those who have psoriasis. Take daily bath, use moisturizer, expose to a small amount of skin to sunlight. Okay, apply medication cream or ointment and eat healthy diet. Now let's go to about other skin infections. So, mga hubag hubag, okay? So, take note that skin is our first line of defense against microbial infections and they serve as physical barrier, okay? So, manang masubrahan sa inyo kalot, no? Masamad and later on, you will notice open na siya, infection na dayon mo. The first line of defense against microbial infections is physical barrier by secreting low pH, vicious fluid, and fatty acids to inhibit growth of pathogens. And also by possessing its own normal flora. So with these uh, functions of the skin, okay? It deterring colonization by other pathogenic organisms. So be careful that your skin, we have uh, common uh, bacteria in our skin, we have Staphylococcus aureus. Naana sa ating skin, even though hindi pa siya ingon nga makonsidered na pathogen, kaya wala pa man siya nasulod sa atong body. So that is why uh, daily bathing is needed or sometimes ka mga mag-injik o tambal that may, must be properly clean kung asa ang site, no? Because uh, injecting some uh, parenteral niya, yeah, wala gilimpiuhan ang site, so, tendency you are introducing the uh, organism inside. So this way ka nang na mga sunog, no? Burns. Open na ilang skin, no? So, that is why patients with burns, they are also prone for infections. Okay, one, you can see in the picture, that is a picture of having cellulitis. Cellulitis is a bacterial infection of the skin and tissues beneath the skin. Okay, nara siya, wala siya deep inside, no? Nara siya sa... Uh, upper part. Okay? Okay, kung ato na sa deeper, it will result to abscess. No? Again, it depends on the pathogen involved, the medication of choice. No? Okay, this one is foronchiolitis. This is deep infections of the hair follicle. Leading to abscess formation with a combination of pus and necrotic tissue. Sometimes pag grabe na ginika inflame, no? It will turn into abscess, okay? So daghan na pass inside. When you feel that one, umukay siya, meaning marag na siya fluid sa sulod, okay? Pag hiwaan na siya, daghan na kayong magawas na pass, okay? Abscess, okay? This is the picture of having an abscess. Kami tahu lagi macam tiki, kalau pun kiwa ni mana, because ya, kalau deeper macam, it needs really sa incision, incise ni, incise ni macam mai, and then depress dan ni sya. Sometimes anestesia dili kai se efektif in this type of one infections, no? So, mangabata usually have this also conditions, 
then even though mag-inject o anesthesia on the side, still very painful, no? because ang anesthesia naramang good siya sa upper part. Yeah, deeper man siya nga uh, damage, no? Deeper tissue with the tissue of the body. So, sometimes anesthesia din makaagbutin to. Okay, so, when you press this one, sakit yung kaya. So, balang mahilak ka isa. Dili kay pinbing kahilak tungkol kay si Kubag. Okay. Collection of pus that has built up within the tissue of the body. Sign of symptoms of pus include redness, pain, warm, touch, swelling. In the swelling, may feel fluid filled when pressed. So skin and soft tissue infections in both microbial emission of the skin and the lines of tissue. So clinical manifestation of SSTI. First, there will be an invasion. So kung wala invasion, wala infections. No? Nara sa ibabaw. That is why, as I said, but now may mga samad-samad kamay, so there will be an invasion. Then, that invasion, interaction of bacteria with host defense. If you notice, sign natin mga samad niya, murang mukula siya, murang siya naisign niya infections, but at least yun maayor po siya because you have a good immune system. So, immune system will fight for those infections, even though without medications, maayor po siya. But in severe cases, okay, the pagyudjin piuhan, so the bacteria will go into the bloodstream, it may result to sepsis. Until, wabot na yun sa imuhang brain. So cardinal signs, okay, we have fever, rapid progression of lesions, okay, bully, so usually, once the bacteria uh, gets in, uh, it will multiply. Magkadaghan na siya. Okay, so, for example, uh, lima. So, pakay batiyon. Matitiron mo. Multiply siya. May masyang pulo. Tapos sa time na nagabalik, batiyon. So, agyapon ka na take medication. So, why consultation? Until lang multiply na po. Times 2 na po. Ang 10 na mo 40. Di ba? At 20. At 20 na mo 40. Kay... Ang 1 mo, multiply 1. So, may mga 40. Ito na kadaghan. So, the more na magkadaghan ang bacteria, the more uh, symptoms na mabati yun sa pasyente. So, diagnosis of SSTI is difficult because they may commonly masquerade as other clinical syndromes. No? Okay, usually, uh, the signs and symptoms of uh, disease have similarity. That is why sometimes they come again na ay Ano siya na siya, infections or ay nani, okay? So, a thorough evolution is needed. Again, it must be properly diagnosed and must know the exact organisms involved, either gram-negative or gram-positive because identification of antimicrobial therapy is uh, very uh, needed, no? Uh, medication yung mga hatag is good for gram-positive because the gram-positive is involved gram negative if gram negative ang organisms so selection of antimicrobial therapy is predicated on the knowledge of the potential pathogens instrument of entry disease severity and clinical complications so instrument of entry okay. usually kung na mga uh, punctured wound nakatunog og lansang usually yung say mga kuan diha di ba abi na titanus okay May nana siya. Then disease severity. Okay. Or uh, point of entry na kay saman. Nagtunog-tunog ka sa baha. Okay. Nagliptos ka. Okay. For uncomplicated mild to moderate infections, oral root is uh, okay. No? Because uh, kung may complication, hindi pa kayo severe. No? At least pwede pa ka maka-start o mga oral medication. But in severe cases, you need faster effect of the medication because the case is severe. Even though you don't know kung sa'y cause, but 
Sa ebalunag kang analysis and due to infections, then you can start broad spectrum antibiotic. Because the broad spectrum antibiotic is good for gram negative, gram positive, and other pathogens. But again, it is not really advisable to give uh, to continue broad spectrum kung naana kay uh, laboratory result. After culture and sensitivity, you will determine kung unsay na kakosa yung infections, what organism. So that's the time you have to stop the broad spectrum and focus shift to the exact medication. Gram negative siya. Itong medication for gram negative. Nana. Okay? Because tendency, if you continue that, it will develop also resistance. Okay, nagsige na magkagtik. Gram negative, effective. Pero na, effective para sa gram positive. Pero wala may gram positive. Okay? So, later on, pag may gram positive, dili na siya effective. Effective. Ang broad spectrum. Or magtik ang mga gram pala medication na for gram positive wala na effect because you started the broad spectrum so again for severe cases intravenous administration so as i said recognition of potential for resistant pathogens causing ssti can assist guiding appropriate selection of antibiotic therapy. There are certain disease or conditions na makita pa lang nimo sa history sa patients sa iyang ipang bati. You could see nga, ah, ini siya. Mao ni siya nga condition. We start ko ang antibiotic. Okay, mao ni condition. Okay. So, SSTI range from mild infections such as pyoderma, presence of pus, to serious life threatening infections such as Necrotizing fasciitis. So minimum, as I said, sometimes pagita niyo pasin kaya ano na ginani yung gibati kinasay nani. So this is the infections of certain pathogens. Okay. Minimum diagnostic criteria are erythema, edema, ram, and pain or tenderness. So affected area niyo also become dysfunctional in severe cases. No, di nani buma mo, di inflamed, sakit imo, dysfunctional. So depending on the severity of the infection. Anong sayo nga, patient infection sa brain, okay, magnocal rigidity, sakit ilang ilihoy ikuan. Pili na mamove ilang neck, no, kay sakit. So nga, mag-dysfunctional. So pathogenesis of the bacteria infections, okay, as I mentioned initially, Pagsulod sa bacteria sa lawas in a low numbers. Then, colonize different layers of the skin. Then, uh, different layers of the skin architecture like epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous, and adipose tissue and muscle fascia depending on the involvement of uh, layers sa imuhang skin and the severity of the infections. So, initially, low numbers. Pag multiply, so, so yun ako nga five pa lang, wala symptoms, okay? So, di po mo inom din tambal. Okay, okay pa man yung immune system, wala symptoms. Pero, nag multiply ang bacteria, nahi mo siyang pila. Pulo na siya. That number of 10, na na day symptoms ang pasyente. So, kung sa iba ito, inom, mag self-medicate na din tambal. Hmm? Wala lang pa infection sa inom din tambal. Okay? So, after taking medication, namatay itong old, ang 5. Okay? So, nagaya po yung 5. So, feeling dahil sa sa uh, pasyente, feeling dahil niya okay na siya. Then, stop niya ang medication. After 2 days, stop na siya. So, na pa may nabili nga 5 nga wala makakos of symptoms. Feeling okay siya. So, wala siya nag-take. Discontinue. Nag-multiply naman po. Okay, wala may medication. So, nakasurvive. May medication. Nahi mo na po siyang pulo. Na na po yung symptoms. Gibati ang pasyente. So inom na po siya balik. Ito nga tambal. Okay? After two days na po, naayo. Undang na po siya. Pero nagpabili na po ng lima. Namatay ang lima. So yun na. So with that routine, that may develop to drug resistance. Okay? Balo na dahil mo defend ang uh, bacteria. Ah, sige, kung niya magtagaan na niya tambal, be, buhat ko shell. Okay? 
Mag-google din siya. Ito din siya kung an. Mag-research din siya. Be, kung saan pag-defend, pero may mga kutagaan, ano yung tambala. Yeah, mamatay rin ba ako kauban? Be, asawa na po. So, that is how drug resistance develop. As bacteria increase in number, will intergumentary be disrupted? So, there will be invasion by discolonizing bacteria and ensues on skin and soft tissue infections or SSTI. So, involvement of pores in epidermis may lead to what we call polycolitis, poroncols, or carbuncles. Polycolitis and infections of inflammation of hair follicles of the skin. Polycolitis. Hair follicle. Poroncles, also known as boil. The pinball infections that form around a hair follicle and contain pus. Kaya yun lang matagtiki. Usually, best way for this is mo na ipagawas ang pus. Nana. Carbuncle is a collection of wells that develop under the skin. When bacteria and hair follicles, follicles can swell and turn into wells and carbuncles. Usually, the foruncle starts a red lump and it is painful or there is tenderness when touched. So this is the picture of having cellulitis. No? So infection of superficial layers of the skin is called erysipelas, while yeah, when it is in being involved, deeper involvement of the dermis and subcutaneous tissue is called cellulitis. And cellulitis can appear anywhere, okay, including same on face, same eyes, okay. This is common and it is potentially serious bacterial infections. So the affected area, characteristic pictures, could be swollen, red, and typically painful, and warm to touch. So cellulitis, as I said, can occur anywhere in the skin of the lower legs, but also it can occur in the face, arms, and other areas. Okay, involvement of your deeper skin structure may lead to fasciitis and even muscle inflammation myositis so deeper skin structures like the fascia so may lead to fasciitis inflammation of fascia and inflammation of the muscles myositis myositis again is an inflammation of muscles that you see to uh, to move your body your muscles but uh, with inflammation of this again uh, it can result to dysfunctional. Sakit man iliho. So injury, infections, autoimmune disease can cause the myositis. And there are two specific kinds, polymyositis and dermatomyositis. So polymyositis causes muscle weakness, usually in the muscle closest to the trunk of your body, just like in the picture. Okay, for individuals with thick adipose tissue, like those who are obese or overweight, so involvement of fat tissue is termed paniculitis. So this is a group of disease hallmark is inflammation of subcutaneous adipose tissue. That is your fatty layer, subcutaneous. That is why. Uh, you need to inject mga kanang mga diabetic ang ilang insulin diha ni mo inject sa subcutaneous tissue. So symptoms include tender skin nodules, systemic signs as weight loss and fatigue. Okay, another condition that may result to your skin is allergy. So usually, allergies damaging immune response by the body to a substance like 
pollen, pure particular food or dust, which it has become hypersensitive. So usually sometimes um, cause of allergies due to medication, okay, the environment, okay, or the drugs intake. So it is an immune system response to foreign substances not typically harmful to your body. And these foreign substances are called allergens. So like food, pollen, pit dander. So you have your immune system and the job, your, job of your immune system is to keep, your, uh, keep you healthy by fighting harmful pathogens. So usually uh, with this, uh, that is why you are taking some antihistamine because the development of histamine due to allergy. So allergies are the result of your immune system response to substance. So a person becomes allergic when their body develops antigen against a substance. And usually, allergy is mediated by some antibody like IgE. Now, in type 1 uh, or anaphylaxis hypersensitivity reactions, it is mediated by antibody IgE. Whereas in type 2, we have uh, mediated by antibody IgG and IgM. So types of hypersensitivity reactions. Type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4. So in type 1, 2, and 3, this is usually the result of antibody reactions or actions. While type 2, it is the involvement of your T cells, okay? or the T lymphocyte and cell-mediated immune response. And usually this type 4, uh, we also call this as delayed type. No? But usually after exposure, mga 24 hours or one, uh, two days, or sa pa na reactions. In type 1, immediate. Now, anaphylaxis is a severe allergic reaction of rapid onset affecting the body system. It is due to the risk of inflammatory mediators in cytokines for mast cells and basophils. So with these mga cytokines and reactions in your body, especially in your lungs, it can cause bronchoconstriction. So that is why uh, immediate reactions, pag severe, immediate actions, pag severe ang allergies, tendency, the patient cannot breathe. No? Pag cause bronchoconstriction. Type 1. Allergic reactions are systemic localized in allergic dermatitis. The reaction is a result of antigen cross-linked with membrane-bound IgE antibody, especially in the mast cell or basophil. So take note, type 1 is mediated with antibody IgE. So there's a video, just watch, no? Type 2, in the gel and combs classification of allergic reactions, is an antibody-mediated process with IgG and IgM antibodies are directed against antigens on the cell. So it is mediated with antibody IgG and IgM, the type 2. Type 3, also called as immune complex. Reactions are characterized by tissue damage caused by activation of complement in response to antigen antibody complexes, which are deposited in your tissue. So examples, so clinical manifestation of type 3 reactions related to the tissue deposition, for example, vasculitic, serum sickness, nephritis, and extrinsic allergic alveolitis. So these are uh, examples of conditions that belong to type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. Type 4, Again, it is cell-mediated response rather than antibodies. Okay? 
1, 2, and 3, it is needed to be antibodies. Whereas in type 4, a cell rejected is the T cell or the T lymphocytes. So in contact hypersensitivity, inflammation occurs when synthesizing chemicals come in contact with the skin surface. So summary, type 1, meaning immediate hypersensitivity or anaphylactic reactions. In type 2, cytotoxic reactions, antibody dependent. Type 3, immune complex reaction. Type 4, cell mediated or also called, as I said, delayed hypersensitivity reaction. Okay, so we come into uh, medication for skin infection usually as i said you have to know what specific uh, organisms involved okay so that you could choose also what antibiotic is good for that condition or skin condition so common antibiotics include they include sacilin erythromycin and tetracycline tetracycline is a broad spectrum Con fungus and uh, cause so, oral antifungal drugs. We have gluconazole and itraconazole. So, gram negative. Okay. Usually, antibiotics include cephalosporin with a brand name, even, no? Fluoroquinolone. Ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin. Okay. Aminoglycosides. Imipinim, broad spectrum penicillins, with or without B, beta lactamase inhibitors, like amoxicillin, clavulanic acid, the combination, piperacillin, and tasobactam. Oh, so this is gram positive, okay? Can you change? So that is gram positive. Gram positive organisms can be treated with a small amount of antibiotic, like penicillin, cloxacillin, erythromycin. So in gram and uh, gram negative and gram positive antibiotics, so tetracyclines are broad spectrum as I said. It covers both gram positive and gram negative bacteria. But as I said, the use is decreasing to increasing instances of bacterial resistance. That is why after the culture sensitivity test, pag naana kay result, stop ni mo ang broad spectrum. Choose a specific antibiotic for that certain organism to avoid bacterial resistance. So tetracycline still find use treatment in acne, urinary tract, respiratory tract infections, as well as chlamydia infections. It's got about nervous system. Okay. Motor neurons usually have one axon and several dendrites, if you can see in the picture. This is your motor neuron. Have several dendrites, kind of mga sanga sanga, that is the dendrites, and you have axons. So the axons. It is covered by myelin sheet. So motor neurons cause muscle contraction and control secretion of glands and organs controlling body function. The types of neurons, sensory neurons, uh, it does not have true dendrites. They are only attached to sensory receptors and they transmit impulses to the central nervous system and then it stimulates the interneurons then the motor neurons so take note that interneurons are located entirely with the central nervous system intercept impulses from sensory neurons and transmit the signal to motor neurons So 
So nerve fibers, okay? Usually it's uh, swan cells only found on peripheral nerves which can regenerate. So there are no swan cells or nerve fibers in the central nervous system. Therefore, damage to these nerve fibers, it is not reversible. So we have what we call afferent nerves. These afferent nerves conduct impulses to central nervous system, whereas efferent nerves conduct impulses to the muscles, organs, and glands. Synapses. So usually nerve impulses are being transmitted by a branches called synapses. So they are connectors, hooking dendrites, axons from one neuron to the other. But sometimes the action of the synapses can be decreased due to presence of some diseases or some intake of medications. Ano sa'yo, mag masobra ano, mag overdose, okay? minus na da yun. Tingnan na kang nalahi na da yun ang uh, body movement. So gray and white matter of central nervous system. So again, your brain and spinal cord of the central nervous system receive impulses. And then with that impulses, they process information and send response for appropriate action. So, naglingkod ka ka ron. Gusto ka mo tindog. Okay? So, naisay uh, one, impulses na ma-receive. Okay, no, say action. So, just like sa mo heart. Okay? Minus ang function sa mo heart. Minus ang pump. Kanya, kadetik na yun nga. Your other organ or body. Okay? Or cells sa mong body. It need oxygen. Okay? Minus man ang function. Ang pump sa mo heart. Minus ang circulation. So, mo send po ng signal sa mong heart, kaya po buhaton sa buhaton sa heart, o pump siyang pass-pass. So, every impulses that may go into sa brain, then it will take some options. So, brain and spinal cord meninges. The meninges are the membranes covering the brain and spinal cord, and it has uh, three membranes. Okay? We have what we call dura mater, arachnoid, and pia mater. So this dura mater is located outside the membrane, and the middle membrane is the arachnoid. And inside the membrane is the pia mater. We refer to the picture. That is the dura, arachnoid, and pia mater. Now, parts of the brain. One is the cerebr uh, cerebrum. Seven eight of the brain's weight. The cerebrum covers sensory and motor activity. So usually in the sin uh, cerebrum, uh, it includes sensory Perception, emotions, consciousness, memory, and voluntary movements. Take note that your brain have uh, parts, no? So in its part, there are also responsible function, okay? Kung asa to ang sense of smell, okay? So damage to that part, mawalang smell. O sa imuhang occipital, pag madamis ang occipital, it can cause blindness, okay? So it depends on which part sa yung body ang madamis, maupod ang mawa nga function. So it is divided into left and right hemisphere, the surface of the cortex arranged in bulging folds. It's one called kairos, and foros is one called solcos. Okay, let's go to about the cerebrum. Okay. So the cortex is also divided into four lobes that correspond to overlying bones of the skull. One is the frontal lobe. Frontal lobe? Okay, kana sa atubangan, na sa forehead. Okay. That is one part sa mong brain, it is called frontal lobe. And it specialize in motor activity, pag lihok, lihok ni mo. Personality and speech. Okay. Pero sa parietal, 
Okay. Sa taas, okay, at the back, sa, uh, sa luyo, sa mo frontal lobe, your parietal. Okay, because sa side, that is temporal. Ang sa luyo, occipital. Okay? So, sa parietal, it is responsible for language, temperature, labog na kayo, init kayo. Okay? Ma-feel nimo, mo. Or pag-touch ni mo, ila, init. So, say response, withdrawal. Diba? So, ang parietal lobe is responsible for the temperature, pressure, touch, and are interpreted in the parietal lobe. Temporal, okay, this is the centers for hearing, smell, and language. Then, occipital for vision. So, as I said, kung isang part sa iyong brain na nang damage, maupotong mga wala nga function. Like for example, occipital, since it specializes the vision, this may result to blindness. Now, another is cerebellum. Okay? It's the second largest part of the brain. Contains nerve fibers that connect it to every part of the central nervous system. Again, it coordinates voluntary and involuntary pattern of movement. Adjust muscles to automatically maintain posture. So your cerebellum, pag madamage, naman, wa na po kay balance. Okay? So the encephalon refers to thalamus and hypothalamus. So we have the right and left thalamus. So thalamus is the release center for all sensory impulses except olfactory and motor areas of the cortex. So olfactory, sense of smell. Okay? That is uh, part of the cranial nerves, 12 cranial nerves. The first uh, cranial nerves is the olfactory. Nerve for smell, sense of smell. So function of hypothalamus regulates body temperature, uh, regulates behavior, emotional expression, body temperature, and other metabolic activities. So it is attached to the pituitary gland, also controls hormonal secretion of this gland. Parts of the brain, brain stem, consists of three structures, the gray matter of the brain, control visual reflex and sense of hearing. White matter of the bones plays a role regulating visceral control. Medulla oblongata connects the rest of the brain to spinal cord, regulates breathing, swallowing, coughing, sneezing, vomiting, heartbeat, and blood. Sure. So I think it's time. So I'll try to see if oh, it needs to continue or I'll just upload the slide. So I think we did much to move on examination no? next, next nata. Then, but on next week, we will use the schedule to continue or for a quiz, no? second quiz. We will continue. Okay. Questions? None so far, so on the side, sir. Okay. So I will just post uh, uh, Google Classroom, no? Okay. I have to ask also the other staff pa siya at the same time. Maghatag sa quiz. We will use the schedule sa prelim. Magmeet na ng schedule, but we will have a quiz instead of prelim. Okay? A second quiz. Okay. Okay, if no questions, then thank you for being with me this afternoon discussion. Have a safe day. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.